Hey guys, Hungry72 here, and I wanted to preference this video, guys, by letting you know that this is the 2v2v2v2v2 2v2 2v2, 32 times 2v2 tournament featuring myself and Baconating in the King of the Hill Wednesday night fight event at Tier 9. And uh, this is full of a bunch of Unicom, Super Unicoms, and stuff like that all over. This is a very competitive competition, but it's a lot of fun. And I hope you guys stay to, until the end to see who wins, who takes the victory. Um, I have it cut up so you only see Zeta Squad's games until we either win or are eliminated. It is single elimination. And the commentary, the great guys commentating on this video, guys. However, they don't have the greatest of mics and they do have a bit of background noise. But bear with it, guys. It is still a lot of fun. And I hope you guys enjoy this kind of competitive gameplay. And if you do, please slap that like button and leave a comment below, and I will uh, appreciate it. Take care, and I will see you at the end. Alright, so everybody's ready to rock and roll here. There we go. Oh, interesting. STI coming out. Or ST1. Alright, let me see here. <clears throat> Alright, so... <clears throat> Unum wins. So Unum wins that fight. A frostbite and polar dip does beat the the 564th armored cav. Ooh, we've got baconating able to spot both tanks. Him and Clone Guy are gonna try and get this early damage in. They really got to the middle fast, I have to say. Oh, a nice shot goes in the Viper Vortex there from Clone Guy. And then as soon as this is... We just have to unmute our guys, and they be ready to rock and roll. At the end of this match. Alright. So, brackets... Uh, round two is completely done, and it is ready to rock and roll. People can update... And look and see what Brown 2 is digging out to be. It's going to be a great set. It does look like um, no one is getting a buy run right now. The buys randomly win against each other. Now this is going to be interesting. Would Do you really want to press the issue on an STI and a uh, TTI <clears throat> uh, and on a T10? guy being very, very risky here, but he was able to get behind cover. Uh, Baconating moving in, it looks like they want to get aggressive together. Um, be curious to see. I, I assume they're going to go ahead and try and continue focusing on Viper since they've already got uh, damage on him. And Yep, oh, there he comes. Vortex lands a nice shot there. Baconating misses on Vortex. Baconating misses. I'm great, needs to get that gun into the fight. Oh, nice shot there by I'm great. <clears throat> oh, Viper Vortex is... Oh, he missed. Oh, he he, didn't he needed to that land that shot on Baconating. This is bad news for I'm great. Keep that armor forward. Keep that armor forward. Actually, as ba No, you don't want Baconating to yeah. push you. Oh, that's a big miss by him. Great. I don't think he's going to be able to recover from that one, especially now Now that no. they have his flank. I'm going to say this one is over in probably two shots. Maybe one now with that ram. There it is. Nicely played there by Baconating. And Unorthodox Baconating. moves on. Only four teams remain left in round one. Now it's uh, you're going to see some TLP action. We've got uh, All right, now we great can... and two out of four. You want to unmute? Go ahead yeah, and unmute. Yeah, I want a second here. I kill you and... Viper Vortex yeah. lands one out of four. Clone Guy lands six out of eight. Great game by Clone Guy. 
with two kills. Baconating, landing four out of nine. Looks like that we have uh, Clone Guy and Baconating both rolling out in a pair of E50s, and the Storm and Flashy Leopard are both rolling out in a pair of Conkers. Oh, uh, whenever you Sounds great right for the Conkers. Well, long <laughs> good to go. I'm rooting for the Conquerors. I really like those Conquerors. Well, um, just a uh, message to stream and uh, you guys here in the room with me, but uh, Flashy Leopard will actually be acquiring an on your six tag later today. Earth. Conkeith? Flashing. Oh, Flashing Leopard, okay. Yeah, Beast keeps busy recruiting. I do, I do. <laughs> so as uh, as expected, we see these conquerors going straight for the flag. Um, in the last exposed, the least exposed path possible. Whoa, my! Uh, it I looks like the E50s off. will try and intercept them. Uh, yeah, they are gonna go for that early damage, and it looks like they're gonna be in position. Hopefully, Flashy and Storm know that they need to go the long, long route. I'm surprised uh, Clone Guy and Baconating have not pushed up a little bit further. They're not going to actually get the spot from there. No, the range is too great. They don't have that spotting distance unless they have some amazing crews that I don't know about. Um, I, I don't even think no, it's possible. It's, they're it's out of, I think they're out of render range, but uh, I can't tell the exact distance. Oh, Storm does get spotted. There's Ooh, one. The this is bad for Storm. There this goes. is very bad for Storm. Here comes another one from Clone Guy. Tracked. This is Repaired. already a, Is he going to be tracked this again? This is already a 20% hit point advantage. Each shot oh, counting for about 10%. Baconating should have another shot here. That doesn't look like he wants to take it. And he's safe. All right. This is a huge advantage for Baconating and Clone Guy right off the bat. Oh, Leopard misses the shot here on Clone Guy. Now, this is where it gets risky. You have the advantage, but do you really want to separate your tanks? Clone Guy planted passive. Thought for a second there he was going to try and to some kind of flank. If Storm stays hidden and they know where Clone Guy is, they may be able to surprise him by dropping from that hill and focusing. But that him. would leave Baconating uh, in cover. Honest. Now Baconating's leaving his spot. They didn't see him do it either, so they think he's still there. Now they actually may have the flank on Storm. The storm actually yeah. heard it. They actually hit, uh, knocked down a whole, blew up a whole bunch of stuff. So storm knew that they were coming because of sound. Huh. There they are. Ooh, an ammo rack. Oh, ammo rack, and he's not gonna repair that unless he has double repair kit. Oh, leopard is completely backing down storm's SOL now. Is his uh, his teammate left him out to just get wrecked. Yeah, and that speed of the Conqueror yeah, is a hindrance. Yeah, these 2v2s. <laughs> well, these 2v2s, there is no taking cover. You, you Once the tanks start charging you, yeah, you have to push. Good high roll. And, oh, a wow, bounce there by Clone Guy. Great roll on the E50. I don't think it'll be enough. These guys are going to be underestimated. Both of these guys are superb tankers, Clone Guy and Baconati. Alright, so Clone Guy pens 5 out of 8 shots. Baconating having a great game, 2300 damage, 5 out of 6 shots penned. 
Storm pens one out of three, and Flashy pens three out of five. And then poppers are on either side, and unum's on either side. So the ready? unum, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah, and then after this is going to be TLP Cobra Command versus unum and polar, polar dip and frostbite. So exciting, exciting, exciting. So dig and devil versus Gullius and Titan. That's going to be a good one. I don't think we're going to have any boring matches. Uh, not that we have had any boring matches, but from here on out, it's looking to be uh, a lot of good good fights going on. HK just needs to stay mobile with his uh, with his bat chat. He cannot ill afford to sit around like he did last game. HK has all basic consumables Ems on. That's always kind of risky, especially at this far into the tournament. Uh, I'd say not even having a, an automatic fire extinguisher is its a risky play. Oh, he's, uh, he's going to hear it from me and Beast. <laughs> I platoon up with him once in a while. Clone guy and bacon eating right, going so what across we got here? south here with their two E fifties. I like this play. And yeah, they're they being aggressive. Actually, going right. They could potentially yeah. catch someone out in the open. They gotta watch them what they run over because that can be clearly heard through if there if someone's running turtle beaches or astros or whatever the sort. All right, there oh, we go. Oh, two Game misses. On. Double miss. McLovin not even spotted. Okay, now McLovin spotted. They're both going to put two shots in here to McLovin, I think. And Nope, they're going for the bat chat. Two but shots Jason, into the bat chat. Yep, they're going for the bat chat. Soft. Soft, and you get rid of that auto loader. Lovin this is a very smart move. Now he's driving into walls. <laughs> There's a lot to maneuver around. Oh, and Clone Guy should have the kill shot here. Uh, oh, he doesn't. What's, oh, HK gets stuck again. What what's is HK doing? Why, no, don't why did they not ahead. finish him? What's happening right now? I don't know, but HK needs to get in there now. HK needs to get in there and start dumping the clip to save McLovin. Come on, there it is. There, he goes. there it is. HK oh, okay, there we go. Oh, he's oh, Baconating oh, takes him down. That was a very smart play, but I'm, I'm not even sure why they let him live in the first place. Oh. I, I don't think he was a threat because he was a one-shot. They they were okay with him shooting one more time as long as they could take out the T fifty four which overcommitted. And look again, uh, these two gents doing perfect damage. Sixteen forty, sixteen ten. Yeah, clone guy pens four wow. out of six, baconating pens five out of six with two kills. Uh, you have McLovin penning five out of six, and oh HK. Just didn't even land any uh, of the shots he fired after they stopped chasing him. Oh, man. Okay. Mm -hmm. He only fired After, once. and then after, they killed him? Okay, I thought maybe because, he fired uh, twice. Yep. <clears throat> Great game there by uh, Clone and Baconating. They are really doing quite well today. I mean, they're a real threat. Alright, Polar Dip, Bat Chat AP, Frostbite E75, Clone Guy and Baconating, both E50s. <laughs> These 2v2 events are so much fun to watch. I, I love them. Uh, I don't know who's eating in the mic, but can you please stop? That was not eating, that was me taking my gotcha. meds. I heard chiclets. <laughs> yeah, you were making me hungry, remember? Alright, so... <laughs> well, you want some... 
some meds too. All right, so no food on uh, either Baconating or Clone Guy's tanks. We have Frostbite is running food, and Polar Dip is running food. You almost have to run food if you're going to run that E75 versus E50s because you have to improve that reload speed as much as possible. Yes. Yeah, I mean, the food, the get that reload speed, I think it does shove it down into into a decent realm. Um, but yet again, here's the, here's the factor, though. Uh, that APCR of the E75 can rip an E50 apart anywhere. It doesn't matter. Upper plate, lower plate, doesn't matter. Side scrape, it can rip it up. Um, so all Frostbite has to do is be, oh, oh not get shot in the butt Oh, here. he did. Oh, there, there you go. There you go. And clone guy one, gets free damage. One hit. Okay. First damage comes out of clone guy. Yeah. They are not aware of polar dip as far as I can tell. Clone guy, I wouldn't back up for that damage. <clears throat> All right, so now E70. Unum being very Yeah, aggressive. I like this, actually. I would have liked to have seen him go through that, that doorway where polar dip is, but... Oh... Is there going to be a... Is, they're going to proximity the spot. Dip. Does the boost. Proximity spot right there. There it is. Yep. I, I don't think right now is a good idea, Baconating though. Baconating not spotted. Okay, this is actually... Clone guys. Once Frostbite oh. pops out here, puts in 497 oh. Polar Dip. They're going to chase Polar Dip. Is Frostbite going to get another second uh, shot in? No, he's not. They may not get it. Nope. Oh, no, that was dips misses out. on Polar Dip. And they took sh damage from that. Frostbite's already on the spin. Yeah. He's going to be, be ready, ready, waiting for Clone Guy. Dips, yeah, Dips going to circle it back. Oh, two back misses. In. Ingenious. Oh, oh, bounce. Yeah, if Clone Both Guy sides. rushes in, okay, they know where you Polar know. Dip is, though. They're not going to just rush in. Oh, nice shot there by Clone Guy. Nice shot there by Frostbite. Man, those shots from that A75 hurt. Oh, here comes Dip. Oh, Baconating should have rammed him. Oh, he can't get it. He can't he get it past. It. Oh, they kill Polar Dip. He couldn't kill Clone Guy. <gasps> he needed to kill Clone Guy there. Now, now Frostbite gives yeah. up the flank. Frostbite just has to get that. There it is. He needs to start turning. There's going to be a All track right. shot oh, right here. Is. Yep, track shot by Baconating. He did have the repair kit. But he fixes it. Oh, oh no! Oh. oh, and it's wow. a fire too. Oh, what? fire! Fire! Wow! wow. That one by a maybe, fire. Maybe too aggressive. The, maybe the bad chat one. went in a little bit premature. Um, but I will say, Baconating did a great job of moving in the way and blocking the shot of Polar Dip. Polar Dip had the kill yeah. shot. Uh, mm -hmm. You know, Clone Guy should have been dead there, and. Baconating prevented it and saved that game, in my opinion. Yeah, oh, yeah, that because was... then E75 would have been turned. Yeah. Wow. Four. All right. That's it, guys. Let's take a, a short. Four pens wow. uh, out of seven shots by Clone Guy. Uh, five out of six for Baconating. Four out of six for Frostbite. And two out of four out of Polar Dip. Yep, just a little bit too quick there with the, uh, the bad chat. All right. They're not waiting anymore. They're like, we well, need I, a I don't think they're picking. So the tension. Here we go. Yep. This All is right. the finale. Oh, this would be tricky with two flags. They can they can be played in so many ways. I have a feeling we won't see a flag cap. Now, what I'm curious to see is for no. the finale, do we see all four tanks go into the middle and brawl it out? Or yep, fight may maybe the not, because, you know, does anyone want to risk losing it like that at the same time? There's definitely some tension here. I can feel it.
Oh, I well, think like we the are. Boys from Zeta are gonna go for middle. Yeah, we're gonna see a brawl, boys. Oh, the the hill or maybe that keeps on maybe Dig in, uh, and Devil just mines. put in some free damage here, and they don't actually go up. I think that that's actually something we may see. Clone guy takes a shot in his side. Oh, Dig can't get the shot in. Oh, Dig they're going to try and ram. Oh, they're wow, actually holding each other up. They couldn't ram Dig because they were stuck on each other. Clone guy in some serious damage here. I Oh, the ammo rack on Dig. Now, Dig needs to just keep moving. Don't stop. Clone guy's gone. Yep. He's going to... Yep, Dig, he's going to get up tight. Oh, oh no, he's face-hugging. Devil, Devil can't put shots in. And tag out. Oh, is Bacon eating changing target? Oh, nice job by Devil there. Oh, pull up. Oh, beautiful job by nice. Devil there. He took the hit. Devil's now blocking Dig. It's, shot. Yeah, but Dig is still alive. Oh, okay, there we go. Now Dig needs to just go around Devil and get behind Bacon. Either way, even if he dies, this way Devil has... Because right now Devil's side is to Bacon Devil's eating, and that is actually not ideal. Nice job there by Dig. There you go. He is going to go down the Bacon eating right here anyway. Devil needs to pen the shot. He does. Bacon's going to need to bounce one He's shot if he him. wants to win this. Oh, he does bounce a shot! Oh, oh man, man, can he pen the turret of Devil? He does! No. Oh, Bacon no. eating goes clutch no. again! Wow. That's insane. Shot. Wow. What a whole round finale! Less than two minutes. Oh, my. Bacon eating 2600, 1087. Oh, my God. Devil coming in. Look at the damage. Wow. Okay, yeah. So we got this 7 is... out of 10 for Baconating, and also he blocks 4 out of 8 for 1,490 damage. Then we have 2 out of 3 for Clone Guy. Uh, we've got 6 out of 9 for Devil. We have 4 out of 6 for Dig. That was just a crazy game. Poor Clone Guy got focused out uh, early there, but Bacon able to win the one on two. That was that was very impressive. I really thought that there there is no way to win a one from one v two, especially considering that uh, one of the tanks on the two was was full health pretty much. I think. Um, uh, but no. I think maybe one issue there was um, Dig needed to at each time. Uh, Baconating fired into Devil. Dig needed to manage to get some kind of damage in there, and he didn't every time. Now, some of that was uh, his shots actually getting blocked by Devil because you know, Devil had his side to both uh, Baconating and Dig, so he was taking up quite a good amount of space. But yeah, maybe one more shot in there after Baconating had fired into Devil could have uh, could have changed everything. But either way, well I think played. Dig was uh, permanently. Yep, I think Dig was permanently. Um, uh, ammo racked. Uh, ammo racked. Oh, that's a, because it was taking a long time for him that to. That is a possibility. But nonetheless, it was a very, very awesome competition. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys all enjoyed. Please send your thanks in the description, or should I say in the comment section below, to Baconating, because holy cow, we would not have won without him. And just send your GG's, well I did anyway, and GG's to all the teams that played, and maybe some of you guys are watching this, and well played guys, it was a lot of fun, and I hope you guys all enjoyed it as well, those of you who played, and those of you who are watching. And tell them this little guy 72 if you want to send me any replays or funny videos, the link to my email, clongguy72 at gmail.com, is going to be on the screen now. Other than that, this is just me, Clone Guy. Thank you guys so much for watching, I will catch you guys all later, take care, and peace out.